Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete and in this series we try to complete The Sims 3. And apparently we've been doing this for 15 weeks now. Talk about dedication and it's all about the little milestones. And speaking of those, we just reached 50 subscribers as well. So let me quickly thank each and every one of you for your support and then jump right into the gameplay. We'll start the episode off with Pete who still has a ton of lifetime happiness points left over from fulfilling his lifetime wish. And we can spend those to rearrange his traits a little bit with the Midlife Crisis Lifetime Reward. We've done that already for Ahisha a few episodes back, and Pete also has a few traits that have become kind of obsolete by this point. The first one is Loves the Outdoors. I picked that in character creation because Pete had to live outside without a house for quite a while, but now he has a roof over his head, so this trait can go. And we're going to replace it with Family Oriented, a trait that Ahisha already has, and which will help us raise Paul a bit more time efficiently. The other trait that can go is Athletic. We have maxed out the Athletic skill and there is simply nothing left for us to do there. We don't need it for anything else. So let's replace it and choose instead Handy. This will make sure we never fail when upgrading or repairing objects. And it will also make Pete learn the Handiness skill a bit more quickly. However, he is rapidly approaching level 10, so I'm mainly picking this as a failsafe. Alright then, that's it for the trait reselection. Now we can quickly go over to Paul who's already awake and put the teddy bear in his inventory. This will allow him to carry it with him and when he falls asleep it provides him with a nice moodlet. And then just a few moments later, Pete is already awake, it's still early in the morning, but it's a good thing he's up because Paul needs his attention. While Pete feeds Paul and then goes off to take a shower, Ayesha is outside again, using... well, what did you expect? Of course she's using the telescope again. We still need to find 20 stars for the skill achievement, and she is still on maternity leave and already level 10 in the law enforcement career, so there really is not much else to do for her. Now Pete has finished his shower and he will now continue to take care of his son. Paul's bladder need is going down and, well, we need to potty train him anyway. So while Pete has nothing better to do, let's have him introduce Paul to the potty chair. Okay, Paul seems to be done and we can continue to have Pete teach him some essential life skills and we'll start with talking. Pete has the wish to teach Paul how to talk and he also has the newly acquired family oriented trait which should make the whole thing go twice as fast and Paul also has the genius trait which will increase the skill learning speed even further. So with that setup, my goal for this episode is to teach Paul how to talk in one day. I think that's fairly realistic, let's see how he does. Okay, now while Pete and Paul practice talking, we can make a nice purchase for Paul. Toddlers, like Paul, can actually learn skills at this life stage. And because Paul is artistic, let's buy a xylophone, which has the potential to raise his guitar skill up to level 3. Yes, he is also a genius, but I don't plan on using the logic skill for him, at least not for now. I plan on exploring that to the fullest with Ahisha and have Paul focus on some other things. Alright, lovely. After not even 5 hours of practicing, Paul is now capable of talking. He surely is a bright kid. And Pete now has the wish to buy a pack box for Paul, so let's take care of that real quick. We can place that here in front of the bed for now, but we slowly but steadily run out of space inside, so we might need to expand the house a bit in the near future. For now, Paul can go and play with the xylophone, while Pete can empty the mess in the potty chair, and then pay the bills. And what a timing, just as Pete is about to sign the check we get paid for Ikisha's time off. So um, let's actually put that money to good use and slightly expand the back wall of the house, just so that all three of our sims can still move around. Once that's done, we can rearrange the kitchen a bit and buy a dishwasher. And we want to make sure that we purchase the cheap one here, as that is the only one that we can apply the Run Silent upgrade to. This is a unique upgrade that can only be applied to this item, at least in the base game. And since I eventually want Pete to have completed all unique upgrades, we might as well get onto this now. <laughs> 
Ahisha has now searched the galaxy for quite a while, sadly without success, and she has a skill opportunity that runs out today. So let's stop using the telescope with her and get her going to the science facility to complete that opportunity. Alright, Paul has reached the first level in a yet-to-be-named skill. I know for a fact that it is the guitar skill, but the game doesn't actually tell us that. We will be able to discover that much later when he's able to play a guitar. Okay, and Pete has completed the silent running upgrade on the dishwasher. I don't really intend to use this thing much, I mainly purchased it for the upgrade. Pete will now go over to Paul and continue to potty train his son. And while Paul is sitting on the potty chair, Ayesha finishes her opportunity, she gets rewarded with 600 simoleons and will now come back home. Paul is hungry again, so Pete will now go to feed him and then work from home, while Ayesha has already called her next chess opponent and is waiting outside for her to arrive. Okay, that is Pete's wish to work from home fulfilled, we only did it for that wish. And now that he has, thanks to the dishwasher upgrade, reached level 8 in the handiness skill, he has access to the improved graphics upgrade for the laptop. So on our way to complete all unique upgrades, let's switch out the unbreakable upgrade and replace it with that. In the meantime, Paul has finished his meal, he will continue to play on the xylophone, and our chess opponent for Ahisha has arrived as well. So now everyone is busy improving their skills or working towards skill achievements, just the way I like it. Alright, and Ahisha is the first one to be done. She has beaten her chess opponent, congratulations. Your reward, emptying out the potty chair. Then she can put a very tired Paul back into his crib and then go back outside to once again search the galaxy. Paul is falling fast asleep and thanks to the teddy bear in his inventory he now has the cuddle time moodlet which provides him with a plus 20 mood boost. And finally, Ayesha has, as usual, discovered another star. This marks number 9, so we're almost halfway through to the skill achievement. And because Pete and Ayesha have been lacking in that regard lately, let's have them spend some time together now. Lovely. Alright, Ayesha will stay in bed to get some sleep. Pete will go to the computer one more time to finish the upgrade. And almost exactly two hours later he is done with that as well. He will also go to bed now and I will make the cut here. Once again I apologize I only managed to get one day in this episode. I am still in the process of moving and things are a bit hectic today. Nonetheless I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you haven't. But above all thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.